Alright guys, <laughs> we're back, and I'm sorry, in the last episode I said we were going to make another episode that same day, but I didn't, I played like six other games and started other series, but we're back with Alan Wake, part two. In the last episode we had come to, I think it's called Spring Falls with our wife or girlfriend, and we hadn't written a book, oh yeah, we're an author, and we're, we were famous, but it's been two years since we read our last book. And our wife secretly took us to this cabin so we could actually, you know, get the uh, energy to write another book because it's time. But in the process, we meet this uh, dark, this lady in black in a dark hallway by the bathrooms and she gives us a key to a cabin and it's a wrong cabin. She intercepts us. We weren't even supposed to stay in this cabin, but we did. And in doing it, I leave after I get in an argument with my wife and I run down to the car only to proceed to say, oh, that was so stupid. And then she's taken. Uh, my wife is taken. I go run back in the uh, cabin and she's gone. I chase her down like a lake or a pond or whatever it is. And I wake up in a car wreck in, a, in some woods or whatever. Like, what the hell happened? My wife is gone and now I'm, I'm in a car wreck in the woods. But, uh, I'm gonna crack this beer open, because I'm old enough to, and that's just how it fucking goes. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing good, thanks for coming out, make sure every time you want everything goes to YouTube, Green Earth Games. We're continuing Alan Wake, the psychological horror game, right now, guys. Thank you for coming back. I love you all. Yeah, let's go. Alright, all the lights are off, let's do this. Okay, sometimes enemies just keep coming. Run. You can boost your flashlight with left trigger. Oh shit, alright. Alright guys, this is uh, our wife was taken and we woke up in a car wreck. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. Okay. I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. I wonder why we're so angry with that book. All right, we got a flashlight. No, we don't. We don't have anything right now. All right, let's see what what's going on. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Through the forest? No, man. This reminds me of like a Ted Decker, Stephen King, all that shit. I don't have any weapons. I have nothing. All right, let's go. There goes our car. Okay, that's not good. Let's run. Something pushed the car over. Or it fell. I don't really know where we're going. We're just running through the woods. This is creepy. Hello? Oh, the light's good, I think. Oh my god. It's bright. Hello? It's like our friend. Someone there? It's like a narrator. Or something. Like a storyteller. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I oh. was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Hmm? Huh? No, 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 no. Alright, back button. The missing page. Alright, is that, what is that? Alright, so we found one page, it looks like. Okay. After waking up behind the wheel of a crashed car with no clear memory of what has transpired, wake heads for a gas station in the hopes of finding a telephone. Alright, let's go. You found a man? I know, I know, dude. I did, I found it. The hell do you want? Right? I don't get it. I don't get it. Departure by Alan Wake. Oh. So the book now that we're living through is called Departure. But also Alan Wake. <laughs> I don't have a flashlight, I don't have a gun. Anybody there? Fuck. 
Oh, did you Please. see that up there? I've been in an accident. Shit. Hold on, let me turn the volume down on the TV. All right. I saw a shadow figure. I'm gonna look around for a second. Oh. F well, that happened. That. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. I fell off the edge, y'all. Departure by Alan Wake. Okay. I'm guessing this is all the shit from, like, I don't know what this is. Maybe, like, when I played it for the 360, like, 10 or more years ago. I don't remember anything about this game, though. Alright, shadowy figure on the cliff right there. See it? Anybody there? Please. I've been in an accident. We're not gonna jump off like a, a ding dong. I wanted to look around, but you know what? No. We're not doing that. Places. Dude, why are we out here? Oh, the what's lights that? up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Oh man, that looks like a, I don't know, like a forestry looking place, like they cut wood down or something. I don't like it here. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it here. Alright, I don't have a flashlight or anything, so I'm just gonna jump over this fucking, oh god, I don't like it. I don't like it, I don't like it. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Where? I'm hey. gonna get lost in here. I can tell you now. Hey, you! Fail. There's been an accident. Fail to arrive. I need help. Listen, I need to. Ah, oh, shit! I don't have a gun, bro. Oh hell, Carl Stucky. Please, to beat you. Hey, wait. Reservation deposit required. Uh oh. Fair and square. Do I have a gun? And square. What's that? I don't understand. Where do I find a weapon? Man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get away. Alright. I just need a weapon. Take bag. Dude, I hate you. Fuck, let's go to the lake. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Screw this. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. That's a scary movie, too. I just saw the second part of that shit, dude. Dr. Sleep or whatever. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, fuck. Excuse my French. Scary games creep me out, and I talk a lot. So, uh... Drawing your... You know, that's how it goes. Trying it's the latest thing. Yes. In Oh, really? Hello? Hello? Look at that. Oh, you dick. What a oh, shit. What is that? Oh, no. Yep, I'm leaving. I just, uh, I don't know what to do. Oh my god. What the fuck? Did you just, like, knock the cat? Oh my god, alright. This is absurd. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Alright. We're doing I good, guys. I gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone, or something. Shit. There were no bodies; they just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Oh hey, follow the light. Hold on now. Look at this. 
eerie hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Pick up Slayer again. Hidden a chest of Thank you. Near it. No, I want the gun. Let's reload the gun now. Alright, gun's reloaded. We have a flare gun with one shot. That's okay, I think. Oh god, I hate this. What's this? Can we do something with this? Yeah, kick it. Straight straight up kick it, really? Oh god. Oh, the dark god. forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbits. Two shots. Oh, I hate this. I don't like it. I just I I don't. I'm not I don't like it. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. I'm nervous, I'm nervous guys. Don't leave me, okay? We're in this together. I can do this if y'all are with me, seriously. Uh okay. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. The waitress in the diner in the, car with his wife. in the first episode. Was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Damn. Alright. Okay. Cool. Oh, God. That's all there is to do in here? Wait. I don't like it. Alright, let's leave. I'm out. I'm out. I gotta practice dodging. Do we go down here? Yep. Whoa! That's the lady that gave us keys to the cabin. Oh fuck. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell was that? Excuse me. I'm scared. Uh, I would hate this. I would hate this. I would hate this. With a team or companions, I'd feel safer, you know. But since it's only me, I, I'm just, I'm just scared. I'm, I'm scared. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. What? I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't oh, even shit. want to look at the water. Oh sh! Look at this. I wonder. Wonder what's up with the little river. Is it because he lost his wife in the pond? I don't know. I'm gonna reload. Alright, we're good. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going right now. <sighs> Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. Don't leave me. I saw something. Did y'all? Do I hear things? Stucky was still out there. In the dark, stalking me. Yeah, it sucks. I don't like being stalked. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that noise? Hey, wait, what is that over there? Shit. Wait. What is that? Let's go. Oh, crap. Oh, God, I don't wanna. But we're going back. Dang it. I just wanna leave. So bad. Right, let's go back this way, I guess. Oh god, no. Alright. Go this way. Shit. I don't like it. I hate this. Alright, here's the thing we're looking at. What is this? Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Barry is arrived off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry what? didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping, messed up. This is our agent. Barry had years of experience with our books, break, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Okay, I'm sorry if y'all hear your stuff in the background. I got a lot of family over right now, and uh, they're crazy. <laughs> and they've been drinking? Not all of them. Just the women. 
Actually, just my sisters. Let's, uh, let's figure that out. All right, anyway, <laughs> let's go. I think this is the way we were going. All right, we're back here. We looked across, oh shit. Wait, what's this? Lithium batteries, oh, and ammo, nice. All right, so we got 29 shots and some, okay. Oh, dude, this is creepy. Oh, no. Reload, 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 reload. Let's let our flashlight recharge real quick. <laughs> Get away from me. I got a gun. And a flashlight. And I talk when I'm nervous. God. Yeah, this game's scary. Yeah, it freaks me out, if you're wondering. Yes to everything. Wait, how do I, uh... How do I get out of here? I wonder. Here we go. Step by step. This sucks. This sucks. Okay, let's go left. Oh, here's more of the, uh... What does that mean? This way? No. No. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's got to. Nothing. Okay. Alright, let's go this way. Arrow. Up. What is this doing here? Why is this even here? Oh. Okay, so we have to go to like right where the flashlight's pointed, probably. Maybe. Wait. Or. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what's up here, real quick. Here's more of that flashlight paint. What does that say? The Taken. They're taken. The Taken are filled with darkness. Oh, hell no. No, no. More paint. More paint. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I hate this. A torch. I get it. For light? That's a light symbol, I'm supposing. What's this? Cool. That was worth it. Batteries. Batteries. Wow, 15 batteries? Are you serious? Oh, I feel good. As long as we can dodge, we can live. Now the question is, is there a bigger, uh, wait, what is this? Nothing, nothing. Dude, the breathing in my ear is scary. I don't like it, really. <laughs> I'm looking out for shadow men. Because I don't know where they're going to be. Can we go over here? No. Uh oh. Alright, so. Uh, can we... No. Okay, wait. Let's go that way. Towards the line. No? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What about... Oh, crap. What about that thing? The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. What? Well, yeah, I know that. Alright. Got a lot of ammo. We got a lot of batteries. Holy shit. That means we're gonna do some fighting, isn't it? Oh, man. Alright, spooky shadow man, fucking lumberjack, Paul Bunyan asshole, don't come over here. <laughs> uh, let's see, dude, what the hell? Oh, no, 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 oh, man, I wonder if that hurt me.
Here we go. Okay, that sucked. That was not With good. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Yeah, you think? Oh, what the fuck? Really? A shotgun? Yeah, boy. Let's do this. I heard them before I saw them. The birds. Down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes. Black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. It's hard to kill the birds, guys. And I would love for this dude that's reading this, like the voice of the character of Alan Wake that we're playing, to do actual audiobooks. That would be awesome. I would love it. Um... I'm gonna reload. Well, we got a shotgun. If we need it, I guess. I mean, we will probably need it, is what I'm thinking. God, I don't want to be here. Alright, what are we doing? Okay. So, we run to that thing. Ah, great. Great. No. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm out. Where are you, dick bags? Uh, Alright, we just need to move it into place. And then we need to climb a ladder and walk across it, is what I think. Wait. Right. There. So, uh, where's the ladder? Shit. There's a ladder right there. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Get up there. Yeah, this game creeps me out. I'd say it's a horror game. Jump. Oh, no, don't miss. Jump. Cool. Uh... Let's go to late, I guess, right? Catch your breath, dude. Shotgun ammo, huh? Six. Nice. Alright, let's turn on the radio. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, <laughs> but you're still up and around. I'm here. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Oh Let's my God, home. no. I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. It makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am. Man, I'm so psyched. All night long and I'm so scared. Long. Thank you. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Call her. You're on the air. Hey, yeah. It's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkie. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it. Oh, he no. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know... <sighs> On his and Toby's a friendly dog? Oh, Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we, we were pretty far from home and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great what? dog, but just too dumb for his own good. Nah, he's a smart dog. <laughs> well, Maurice, Listen to dogs. Now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a All good right. night now. I wonder if we find it. What? What's up with the music? Oh, 
Oh, we have light. Oh, hell no. Really? What's this? Oh. What do we got? Pick up flare guns. Two fl Oh. Oh, dude. So we have two flare shots. Six shotguns. I'm scared. What What is about to happen here? And the music's pretty good. What's up with the music as well? I want to know. Where's the radio? Let's jam. I don't make... Oh, God. Alright, let's just go. How do I get out of here? <laughs> is that a missing page? Here we go. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's keep going, I guess. Oh, that's the gas station, isn't it? Please let me in. Please. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Oh. What the fuck? What was that noise? Did y'all hear that? I'm not gonna... What up, bitches? I don't know what's happening. bad oh I understand all right so all right all right all right Whew. no don't jump collect it six two oh I hate this man I just this crap freaks me out What was that? Oh, I see some paint. Ah, flare gun three. Nice. All right, I should use this eventually. I will. Not yet, though. I'm collecting. What the fuck? The shit was that, dude? Isn't this creepy? Well, let's go. Uh oh. Fuck you all. I'm leaving. <laughs> right, let's go in here. Shotgun. Lithium batteries. Nice. Uh. Oh fuck! What is this? Hey, hun. Playing Alan Wake. It bestows immortality on those yeah. who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, yeah. Sagan, princes among men. You know, I met for such a little place. Steep indeed. <laughs> In night springs. 
What are we grilling? Tonight's episode, a quantum we suicide. Can't have. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies Trying to get a good view. Of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here <laughs> at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. Really? As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say what? suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place a weapon against my own forehead. No. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One what? in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. This is nuts. My machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're what? saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, oh. this one thing did not happen don't do it here you're insane colvin insane insane oh hey, no is this thing supposed to be plugged in i stumbled on it you fools gaze upon quantum immortality don't do it dude poor poor dr colvin wow. filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat. In the ice springs. Ooh, that's creepy. I don't like it. I don't like it. I was in war mode, now I'm totally not in war mode. I don't know where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do or anything. Damn it. I don't get it. Reach the gas station. Do I have to? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Dangerous. It requires patience. No. Even with the engine blocks. Looks to me as if it were moving. Belt is an easy and fatal. Let's take no pain. Count your tools before. Stucky's body vanished, leaving Got it. only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Yeah. Assuming I'd reach the lights at the gas station alive. Shotgun time. We did it, guys. I have no idea where to go now. I'm gonna run down here for a second. No, I'm not. I have a shotgun. You better let me get to the gas station. All I gotta say. Dear God. A blue. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first oh, yeah. arrived with Alice. Okay. So, 
We're gonna go that way. But, what is over here? Really nothing? Come on, guys. What is that noise? That's terrifying. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. We made it! Stucky spat on the garage floor and the guy we just killed. Cobwebs from his head. This is him turning into darkness. Show to pick up the keys. Things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Oh, okay, so this is the guy who was supposed to give us the cabin keys, but instead the lady in black gave it to us. Gotcha. So Stucky got corrupted. Check. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Really? Damn, dude. It's a long time. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. That's where Stucky's from. Right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. What? I can feel her presence in the dark. Just Lady now, in black. I can smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. Our wife. I can't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contests, and surprise competitions like music for the children, Buck Tooth Charlie, Afternoons, and Montgomery, The Mystics, Amazing. Phantasmagoria evenings. Don't miss a legendary Deer Fest parade September 15th to 18th, the 68th annual Deer Fest. Cool. Okay. Well, we got some info. Jeez. This flashlight's bright. Nothing's in here. So, this is the area. Cool. Whew. Alright. Uh, I guess I'm not supposed to be here. What? No. Alright guys, I'm going to take a break here. I gotta go do some stuff. But this has been Alan Wake Part 2. The Darkness in the Woods. I don't know what we're going to name it yet. But thanks for coming on Mixer. Epic Tommy 1. Everything goes to YouTube. Green Earth Games. Till next time. Have a great day. Great night. Spooky day. Spooky night. Whatever. Enjoy.